Hello folks, um, I'm going to contradict quite a few of my previous videos upon reflection and uh, insight. Basically, um, a lot of my videos are geared towards motivating people to be a uh, better self, to I guess unlock hidden potential and um, try to, you know, express all the things that that we want to express. But this whole thing, this whole sentiment of expression and self-expression comes from my own insecurity with my own personality. So if we'll dig a little deeper here. Why is John saying express your true self or your whole self or you know whatever the hell I say. Why is he saying that? Well he's saying that truly. I'm saying that. I'm saying that because the self God damn it, the self that I'm expressing in everyday life is not one that I approve of. So it's really wishful thinking. It's me saying, hey everybody, let's express our true honest selves when if if I really think about it my true honest self is this right here this is my true honest self this is you can see this consistently in all my videos there hasn't been very many videos where I radically changed you know and the reason why I am the way I am is because of my brain anatomy, neurophysiology, the way it, it is shaped and, and has been shaping over the years, and because of my brain chemistry, uh, neurotransmitters and all that, which, are a result of, which is a result of nature and nurture. And that's why I am the way I am. That's why we all are the way that we all are. So, I always wanted to be louder. I always wanted to be more fun, more funny, um, more sociable. Um, the the hit at every party, you know. I always wanted to be that. So I always tried different ways to alter myself to be that and have it be genuine but it hasn't worked <laughs> it hasn't worked in all this time I mean there have been ki little kicks where I've changed for a week or two weeks maybe but it always goes back it always goes back to normal and you know why it's because that's my neurophysiology. I have to hype myself up to, for, to change it. Um, so maybe the selves that we think we are, you know, perhaps we think we're not expressing our true selves when we actually are. And this, you sitting at the computer, you interacting every day, even if you feel repressed, maybe that's you. Maybe it is you to feel repressed. Maybe if you don't like your personality, maybe it's your brain hating on itself. Maybe your, your brain sees an ideal that it wants to be but can't be because it's not shaped in that way or or it sees the ideal um, 
because it it's using it's using it as a survival mechanism to fit into a group. And if you can't, you can't. But you can try. Try all you want. I mean, I've tried for a long time. Try all you want. You know, like lots of sentiments that I've got into is, uh, you know, oh, my true self is really my emotionally vulnerable self, or my true self is really my no nonsense, brutal honesty self, or my true self is really my uh, cruel, crueler side. Well, no. These are all little branches that I go on, little, little, little trips I go on for a week or two. And uh, then it always comes back to a version of what you're seeing right now. And, uh, you know, if somebody didn't like their nose, they could get a nose job. But if somebody doesn't like their personality, they can't get a personality job or a brain job. So you're kind of stuck with it. And that doesn't mean, you know, oh, I dislike my personality or, or I am not too thrilled with my personality. So I have to lament and everything is horrible and I have to have an existential crisis and I, feel, I have to feel horrible about myself. Just because you don't really like your own personality, or I don't really, really like my own personality particularly, I wish it could be uh, more vibrant and, and lots of other things, doesn't mean I have to beat myself up over it. Why beat yourself up over it? You can't, you can't even control it. But it's just, I'm unsure if the mobility that I... Uh, advocated in my past videos is actually true. So that's the point of this video. Um, Alright, so I hope you found this useful. Hope you don't uh, hate me for for providing what is perhaps false information. It was really just my own insecurities trying to unconsciously, uh, unconsciously uh, spread all over the webcam and have try to convince my unconscious insecurities try to convince my conscious mind that what the the bullshit it was spewing was true and try to convince all of you that it was true. Because if I can convince you, I can validate myself, and then I can live in this fantasy world where I can be a totally different person. And that's just not the reality. And I think I'm able to accept that now. And if you disagree, feel free to comment. If you agree, feel free to comment. And the latest, kidding.